Roderick hits unbeaten 88 on even first day. While Division 2 leaders Nottinghamshire look to have all but sealed one of the two promotion slots, the second is up for grabs, and Glamorgan is certainly in the mix. A decent result over Worcestershire, a side they beat at New Road earlier in the season, would put the hosts into second place in Division 2. The pairs won the toss and elected to bat, but only managed to put 16 on the board before Libby fell LBW to Harris for 12. Cornell and Pollock fought back at Glamorgan, the latter in typically aggressive fashion. Van der Hookton sent soaring into the stands shortly before the visitors moved beyond 50. But with the score up to 55, Cornell misjudged Van der Hookton's delivery and lost his off stump, shouldering arms to the Aussie born Dutch international. Haynes tried to mount a recovery, pushing the score to 69, when Van der Hookton wrapped his pads and sent him on his way for 13. Worcestershire avoided any further damage before lunch. Pollock, their leading light so far, up to 40, the score 88 for 3. Pollock would build on his good start, nerdling Worcestershire to 100 with one off Harris. And then he moved to 50 off 100 balls, as he and Roderick scampered through for a quick two. He made it as far as 54, before he was outcaught behind for van der Hookton's third. Ed Barnard joined Roderick in the middle, and the pairs tried to rebuild again. Worcestershire will miss Barnard next year when he joins Warwickshire, and he was providing a reminder of just what they'll lose quickly overtaking his partner and moving to a battling 50 from just 58 balls. The pair's all-rounders innings was key to the fight back. When they reached T, 69 for 3 had become 195 for 4, and the pairs had battled back to a much better position. Roderick joined Barnard on 50 after the break, 4 off Patel took the pairs to 200, and another off van der Hookton saw him move to his half-century from 137 balls. When Barnard pushed Patel for a single into the offside, he and Roderick had put on 100 for the fifth wicket. Patel was the man with the key wicket though, the appeal understandably vociferous when he found Barnard's pads, hugs all round for the spinner as the umpire raised the finger. Dolivera, the captain, wouldn't ever get going, a peach of a delivery from Harris arrowed between bat and front pad and trapped him in front for three. The pairs started to crumble, Cox outvolved for a two-ball duck, Hogan with his first of the innings. But Joe Leach and Gareth Roderick put an end to the host's success with the ball and held firm. Right the way through to the close of play, Roderick up to 88, Leach on 16, and the score now just 15 away from 300 for the loss of seven wickets. At this point, it looks like the match is in the balance. Some important knocks from Pollock and Roderick had given Worcestershire something to build on, while Glamorgan will be pleased with their day's work with the ball. Can either side take control on day two?